130 million tons of hazardous waste were generated in the United States in 2013. Do you ever think about what happens to all of this hazardous waste? Unfortunately, much of it is improperly handled, leading to 20,000 spills in 2014, which resulted in 800 deaths and $50 million in property damage. The EPA has the authority under the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act to regulate hazardous waste from cradle to grave. What that means is there are 450,000 active facilities and the EPA can go in and perform inspections to make sure that they are up to code. It <coughs> excuse me. Evaluations are time intensive and require a lot of resources. So they are only able to touch 4% of the facilities every year. Of these, 67% result in them not finding any violations. The EPA has identified this opportunity to better prioritize their inspections so that they maximize the number of evaluations that they perform that result in violations found. We are using a data-driven approach to combine data across all of the EPA's regulatory programs for the very first time. And with that model outputs a predicted risk of violation for every facility that is active. And then inspectors can look at that list and think which facilities they might want to inspect based on where the facility is located, what is the community that would be affected if they had a spill, and what's the worst case scenario. We've developed an interactive web application that the inspectors can use to visualize where the facilities are located and if there are any clusters of very highly ranked facilities. They can also look at this list and say if they only want to look at a certain type of generator or in a certain region. So what does this really mean? Well, we tested our model on the 2014 inspections performed by the EPA. The overall hit rate that they had was 28%. That means that they were able to prevent 340,000 tons of pollutants from being re released into the environment. When we used inspection information from both the EPA and state inspections, we were able to achieve a 66% hit rate, which would be equivalent to 802,000 tons of waste being kept out of the environment. Our best performing model that the EPA is going to actually test in the field it ha is achieving a 79% hit rate, which means 960,000 tons of pollution can be kept out of the environment. Thank you very much.